This video is sponsored by Function of Beauty. What's up, Abu fam? It's me, your main boo, back with another video. I hope all of you have been staying safe and sane. I don't know about you guys, but recently I've been like, whoo, keep it together, Sigonia. One thing that's been really helping me through this time is just taking some time for myself, doing face masks, you know, stuff like that that can make you feel bougie at home. As you guys know, I'm working with Function of Beauty in today's video, but I've actually been using their shampoo and conditioner for about six months now, so when they reached out, I was like, sick, let's do it. I think it's really amazing for this time now more than ever because it delivers right to your door and you don't need to leave your house. So basically what you do is fill out a really easy two minute quiz on information about your hair, what your hair goals are, how you wanna improve your hair. And the cutest part is that you can print your name on it too. All my bottles in my shower right now say Sigonia. But for the purpose of this video, I got it to say Function of Fabu. Thought you guys would like that one. There's no parabens, sulfates, GMOs, toxins, all the bad stuff. It's 100% vegan and cruelty free. So you can choose your colors and your scents. My shampoo is called Silvery Blue and my conditioner is called Seafoam Green. And the scent that I chose is Peach and Mandarin. It's my all time fave. So when I took the quiz, I wanted to pay attention to anti frizz, lengthening, shine, and especially volumizing my hair, and that leads us into today's video. So since this video is all about volumizing your hair, you guys always ask me what my favorite shampoo and conditioner are, how I get my hair to look big. So it starts from how you treat your hair, right? It's the same concept as makeup. The better your skin looks, the better your makeup is gonna look. The more nutrients that you put in your hair, the better result that you're gonna get. So you can even take it further than shampoo and conditioner. They also offer a leave-in treatment, which I left on my hair, and I just felt like the ends felt a lot more moisturized, so this is amazing as well. So they basically offer you a subscription service where you can order it every two, three, or six months. You can change up the formula, which I honestly recommend. I find that adding new ingredients really keeps the hair guessing. It gives it something more to work with and just something more to benefit from. So it's one last thing to worry about and don't forget you can cancel anytime. I have a link in my description to give you guys 20% off, so make sure to check that out. And finally, let's move on to today's video. So you guys wanna know my amazing hair hacks to get your hair looking beautiful, voluminous, you are gonna be looking so good after this video. <sighs> Let's just get started. So I just got out of the shower, my hair is a little damp, and that's when I like to put in all the product, let it seep in. My step number one is so revolutionary, and I would say this is the most important step, and it really took my hair to the next level, and that is this Garnier Mega Full Thickening Lotion. So basically what I like to do is just spray about three or four sprays, mix it into my hands, and just run this through my entire head. This is the key to all of your problems, especially if you're someone who has thin hair and you really have trouble getting that volume. This is gonna be your best friend. Next, I'm gonna put some heat protectant in my hair. This one is by Tresemme. It smells amazing and it actually protects your hair up to 450 degrees. So I haven't seen a lot of the heat protectants that go up that high and I love this one. All right, we got our heat protectant in, we got our thickening lotion, and before I move on to the next step, I just want to quickly say, the way that you cut your hair is gonna have a huge impact on the way that it looks when you're trying to style it. So I always ask for layers. I get long layers in the back of my head, and in the front, I like to frame my face all the way up until about right here. It's just gonna give your hair that lighter effect, make it look more bouncy and full, rather than having your hair all one length. It's gonna be very heavy. So I guess that would be my step two, and my step three would be always try to blow dry your hair if you're going for that volume. I used to have very, very frizzy hair when I was younger and I still do. So I thought it would be best to straighten my hair. It had all these flyaways. So I'd straighten it, wait for it to cool off, and then I would curl it. But that's just going to make your hair so flat. I really would recommend taking the time to learn to blow dry your hair if you don't know how to. So I'm going to go ahead and blow dry my hair out. I'm going to skip the blow drying and also curling because that's not the focal point of this video. I just want to show you guys how to get the volume. If you are interested in learning how I do those, I have videos on both of them and I will link them down below. I don't know if you guys can see the volume that's already in my hair, but it's all because of this thickening lotion. My hair does not look like this when I first blow dry it. So trust me, it makes the world's difference. So I just parted my hair for step number four. We're gonna be throwing some waves into my hair. Like I said before, it's not gonna be about me curling my hair. I'm just gonna basically show you guys how I curl one strand and a little tip that I learned on making it look even better. So we're gonna repeat this curl that I'm about to show you on our entire head, but 
The key here is that we're gonna be curling away from our face. There's a lot of people that say if you curl back and forth and back and forth and just keep switching the directions, you're gonna get more volume, which is true, but I would say that's more of like for a beachy type messy wave. The more that I play with my hair, the flatter my hair gets. Rather than when I just curl it all in the same direction, I feel like I have more control of it. So that's what I would recommend for today's video. I'm gonna take my curler and this is what I'm gonna do on my entire head. Take the curler, put it upside down, away from my face, and I'm placing the hair flat on the curler. I'm not twisting it, just like that. And when I take it out, I'm gonna hold it like this so it cools in my hand a little to hold the shape and release. And that's how it should look on your entire head. So I'm gonna finish up the rest and then we will move on to step five. Okay, so we just finished curling our hair. Our step five is going to just be to brush out the waves so that everything is blended together and looking good. This is gonna give a lot more of a natural looking effect to your hair and not so much curly. And then what I'm gonna do is just take the top, take my brush, and just to make sure that this is all blended together, I'm gonna give it one last blow dry. So now that all of our waves are blended together, I learned this next step from Miss Nikki Tutorials herself. So what I learned from her, and this is so genius, is every crease that your curl has is where you're gonna take your brush and just lightly tease it, and it's gonna give it 10 times more volume. So we're gonna take the first crease, which would be about right there, tease up, and let go. And then next to the next tease, tease up, let go. And then to the third one, tease up and let go. And then to the top of the head as well, tease up and let go. And it's gonna look a little messy at first, but that's where you just kind of have to run your fingers through your hair and just get it all looking not so crazy. <laughs> and once you got all this looking good, our step seven is going to just grab the top of your hair, so your bangs, and I'm gonna just grab a clip like this and I learned this one on TikTok, surprise, surprise, learn everything from TikTok. And you're gonna clip your hair like so and drop both of the bangs. So you're gonna get that really nice curtain hair. You're gonna leave it like that, take your hairspray and spray it as though that's where your hair actually falls. So it's gonna trick your hair into thinking that that's where your part is so that when you release it, it's going to add even extra volume at the top of your hair. And our last and final step is going to just add some texturizing spray. My hair is pretty clean right now, so I feel like I don't need to add dry shampoo, but dry shampoo is also a really good alternative if you want your roots to just stick up a little bit. But for now, I'm just gonna use this triple sec by Dry Bar. This smells amazing and it works like a charm. So what I'm gonna do when I'm applying it is spread out my hair like so and spray it in between my hair. And then lastly, of course, we're just gonna throw in some hairspray. This one is by Aquanet. This isn't my favorite hairspray, but it's the first one that I saw. Let me know if you guys have any really good hairsprays that you suggest down below. And we're done. This is how I get my hair to look full and voluminous and like it's full of secrets. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and really found my tips and tricks helpful to you. If you decide to recreate it, don't forget to send me the picture. Girl, you know the drill. Thank you again to Function of Beauty for sponsoring this video and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.